what was very interesting listening to Sylvie or reading the Green Economy report of UNEP is that it made it very clear to me that whether we talk about green economy, green growth, or green development, we're essentially talking about the same thing. We're talking about how do we implement sustainable development and make real progress on sustainable development in the short to medium run before we get locked into uh, economic systems that take us where we don't want to go. Um, and how do we do that while respecting the need for developing countries to get richer, to continue growing, to grow the pie? The bank has a very important role to play both in framing green economy or green growth or green development, but also, and perhaps more importantly, in helping its client country implement it. Uh, we're active lending or doing AAA in absolutely every sector that is mentioned in the Green Economy Report, whether it's transport or energy or agriculture or urban development. So I think what's really the biggest challenge for us now is how do we mainstream green economy, green growth, green development concepts into our everyday operations and into our general policy advice. The bank has been involved for a number of years in uh, developing with our client countries the building blocks of green growth. In, uh, more recently, we uh, helped a number of countries such as uh, Brazil or Poland and India work on their low carbon growth studies. We are also involved in pilot projects on climate resilience in countries such as um, Bangladesh and uh, Mozambique. And a new development is we've been approached by uh, several countries such as China and Vietnam to, who are asking us to come and help them think through how to develop their own green growth strategies. So th I think this is a very interesting opportunity for us to work with our clients and learn with them on how specifically can we implement this uh, shift in priorities and economic activities.